Oh, I like that. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing? Today, we are going to have a look at the new Mid Journey video model, and it is surprisingly good. Let's get started right away. So as you know, from Mid Journey, it is ridiculously easy to use. And we're going to start by looking at some examples from their website to see what other people have created and get a feel for how good that video model is. So up here, you can see this animation of a character turning around pretty good really like the details. I like the consistency. This is one thing that stands out with this model is that it's very consistent with the details. So in that regard, it is very good. And also it is always starting with an image as a starting point. So it's not text to video, it's image to video, but the image is created by Mid Journey and Mid Journey has a very good image quality. At that point, I also want to show you a little trick. When you right click here, you have two options, download for social and download for editing. And the trick here is that download for social actually has a higher resolution. Here we have another video of a moving train. And there you can already see some of the strangeness that this model has. I have to point out that this is kind of like an early model. They just released it. And you can see here, it has this kind of like problem with strange motion decisions that it is doing. It starts to go backward, forward. It's kind of strange. Here we have another example of this kind of boy with the playing card. Some of the playing cards are changing while they are moving, especially this one here. You can see it flips as a certain point. So that is maybe a little bit strange, but for online memes, the quality at the moment is good enough to get some views, to get some clicks, to get some action going. Here we have another video with a very beautiful animation of a character. The camera is turning around him again. You can see the consistency. These kind of scenes also work very well, especially when the character isn't moving that much, but the camera is moving. One thing that's not great here are the strange birds in the background that are doing all kinds of crazy moves. This example here is also very interesting where we have text. Again, this is created first as an image with Mid Journey, but the text is very consistent, even though he's moving it around a lot in the video. So that is also very, very good. And I've seen that in more multiple examples. Really cool. The video model on Mid Journey does not have any kind of sound with it. So it's just that. And you might have to voice sync it afterwards. The Mid Journey model has a pretty good variety of style, be it realistic, 3D, this animation, cartoon style, or even anime animations. Again, you can see here some kind of strange movement. But when you use that for your benefit when you buy into the strangeness of AI and create something with that, you actually can have a lot of benefit from that. Here's another landscape example that works very well. Again, pretty good consistency in the landscape. You can see that here it's starting a little bit to chitter in the eyes. So that is a little bit strange. But the rest of the video is actually very impressive from how realistic it looks and how nice the camera motion is. Here are two characters in this kind of like vintage movie style. And again, very nice from the motion. It is a little bit strange though, especially when you look at the background, they're kind of like going sideways across the road. And what do you think about the motion of how they talk with each other? Would you say that's realistic or would you say maybe the motion is a little bit strange? Let's have a look at this image here that looks a little bit like a 3D render. I would say this is something again you can use for an online meme. The quality is pretty good. The movement is pretty consistent. There is no strange body jerking or something like that. So overall, I would think you can actually use that clip even though it has a strange look, but it's attention grabbing at the same time. And then I also want to have a look at this clip here, which is really interesting. This kind of stitching style. I really like that. It's very artistic and beautiful. I also like the movement in here, even though it's a little bit slow motion, a little bit strange. But for this kind of thing where you think about stop motion, it's actually really nice. I really like that result. 
Now let's look at some of the technical parts of what it can do and how much it costs. So here you can see the pricing. It's the normal pricing of mid journey. So that's pretty nice. It doesn't go up in price. I really appreciate that. It is using the fast generation hours if you have the standard plan. So that's important to take into consideration, which if you have a yearly subscription costs 24 bucks per month. And there you can have unlimited image generation, but not unlimited video generation. If you generate a video, it usually uses about eight minutes of GPU time that will create four versions of that video for you. And that means that with these 15 hours, you can around about create a hundred videos with that, which is not that much. It's also not that bad, especially considering that you get four variations. So in total, you get 400 videos. However, if you shell out a little bit more and by that, I mean double, which is the pro plan, which costs 48 bucks per month, you actually get unlimited image and video generation. And that might very well be worth it if you know how to monetize it. Let's have a look here at the creation details of video you have here two different modes. One is low motion, one is high motion. As you can see here, low motion, of course, gives you less motion and high motion, more motion. I have seen that with high motion, because there is more motion, the motion also can have more errors. It's also here, it's pointed out that it takes eight times more GPU time. So eight minutes for the video generation. And you have some settings down here. The interesting thing is you can have an auto mode, which is automatically generating the prompt for you and just press these buttons to get the video or a manual mode where you can write in the prompt what you want to have. And there, of course, you can add some motion or things that should happen. For example, you can say zoom in on the face, rotate around the character. I found that it's actually sticking pretty good to the prompt if you do that. The interesting thing here is you can also use your own images when you upload them beforewards and then you can choose them as a starting frame. Probably you want to have them in the right ratio that is offered by Midjourney to get better video results from that. Here you can see the output aspect ratios, but also then the dimensions of the video. The resolution is kind of low. And it is also a little bit dependent on the ratio, of course. So one by one gives you 624 by 624, while 16 by nine gives you 832 by 464. So that for the height, it has less pixel because it has more pixel in the width. So it's coming out to around a similar amount. Now, the interesting thing here is if you download them for social, they are upscaled for you, or at least you get a higher resolution you download. So when you download a 16 by nine video, you actually get a 1080p video that is downloaded. It might not be upscaled. It might just be a higher resolution. When you hold the control key, you can scrub through the video with your mouse movement to judge the video a little bit better and also have a faster preview. There's also the option to have video raw and this you do by adding minus minus raw to the prompt and there this will make mid journey less creative. So less independent and more sticking to your prompt. So you might want to play around with that if you want to have more control over the video. And then also you have here an extend video option. Again, there is the auto option where it chooses for you what the next action is going to be, or you have a manual extend where you can write in the prompt what you want to happen next in the video. Now let's have a look at how it works on the website. So here you have your prompt entry on the top. You can upload an image here if you want to or choose an image you have created before. On the right side here, you have these three slider icons and there you click on that and this will give you settings like the ratio. You can choose the model standard or raw that we just talked about. You can also use the version here. Now this is just for the image generation, of course, the stylization, weirdness and variety. This is all explained when you mouse over that. And then also for the speed, you can select between the relax, fast or turbo mode, depending on your subscription. Again, this is for the image generation. Now, after you have generated the image, when you mouse over that, you will see down here an animate button. This will completely automatically animate the 
image for you. However, if you want to have more control, you want to click on the image before you animate that. And then in the lower right, you can see here you have auto mode for low motion, high motion, and then also manual mode for low motion, high motion. And again, with the manual mode, what manual means is that you can enter your own prompt to define what you want to have inside of the video. The other buttons you can see up here for variation, upscale, more and use is for the images, not for the video. After the video has been generated, you get these four versions of the same video. As you can see, the versions are pretty beautiful. Here it says control to scrub. So you hold down your control key. It takes a little bit and then you can use the mouse to go backward forward. And that makes it kind of easy to see different parts of the video you want to check out so that it's kind of better. And then also, as you can see under the video, have your extend auto or extend manual. Again, extend manual allows you to write in the prompt what you want it to happen next. Now let's also have a look at some images and video that I've created. So here we have this screaming or rocking woman. That's pretty cool. Design is very nice, has this kind of grungy anime comic book style. And here you have these different motions that are interesting. But again, like throughout the video, the motion is suddenly changing from slow motion to this kind of like faster motion. Here you have another version where again, it starts out with that slow motion and kind of keeps in slow motion. So again, it might be interesting. Here's another version of that video that goes in a little bit more of a real time motion and then going backward forward between real time and slow motion. And this one is the last one where also the color is flying around. The hair is moving in a really interesting way here. And in this case, it's just one head bob, but it actually looks pretty good. And here I wanted to have a woman dancing in a park in a long red dress. I've selected this video because I feel like it has the best motion in there. And also the background looks interesting for this image here. And here you can see some of the video versions of that. Now, one thing you will quickly realize is that the head and body motion is kind of not in sync. And this is something that often happens with video models. So that was also what I wanted to test here because dancing is kind of difficult because it's a very complex motion. In this case, it didn't really work with the head. Here we have another one and that actually also doesn't work. Like at the end, it suddenly like twists the head way too much, but the start one is good. So you can use parts of the video and then it kind of like breaks apart. Now we have here the comparison to other video models with the same prompt and also the same image. This is with one 2.1 and the motion is interesting. I like also the water motion in the background. It's just a jump to the back. It's not really a dance, but actually not too bad. I have to say also with the camera motion. Here we have Kling 2.1 and this is probably the most dance like motion in here. Actually nice movement. Again, the combination of head and body is not really working. That is an overall problem with AI models with dancing specifically because it's a complex motion. But it is closer to actually dancing, right? And also the water in the background is kind of interesting. And here we have VO2, which was surprisingly bad. Everything is a little bit blurry and strange. The head motion is also not really working here. So I have to say, like what Mitchell is actually doing with the videos is pretty good compared to these other models being created by Mitchell. Again, the motion at some point is going into another rhythm. So he walks and then he runs and then he walks again. Here we have a second version of that video where he's walking. The camera is panning down, which is interesting. So we see the burning ground. And then again, let's have here a comparison to Kling 2.1, which is actually pretty interesting from the flames and the movement. In this case, the camera is completely still. It's interesting. Also, the fire looks very nice and the smoke that is generated. The kind of lava that is dropping down is also an interesting detail here. Then we have Van 2.1 where it is very dramatic. And then at some point, for some reason, the warrior is turning around and looking kind of at the camera. 
I like the overall feel, to be honest, the big flames that are coming from the right and the big flames on the top of the building. Everything is very cinematic here. Also the dramatic sky overhead when the camera is panning up. And what I like here also is that the hero is actually kept nicely in the shot by that. So I'm actually pretty impressed by when 2.1. So overall, I have to say that the video model is pretty impressive for what it can do. And especially with the 48 bucks per month for unlimited video generation, it's actually a great deal. And keep in mind that, of course, this is going to improve over the years. So you're not just getting this it is getting better and better over time. So let me know in the comments what you think about this model and the pricing and maybe other video models you want to see. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye.